Welcome back to the channel guys. Today is Tuesday, so we're going to hop in with three general knowledge quizzes. As always, we're aiming for 15 out of 20 or better. Without further ado, what is the coldest country in South America by average annual temperature? Is it Chile? It's Chile in Chile. Somebody laugh. Which body part is the nape of the neck? Which orchestral woodwind instrument starts with the letter O? That would be oboe. What volcano destroyed Pompeii? Ooh, bear with my spelling here, but it's Vesuvius. Close enough. Who requested sharks with frickin' laser beams? Yeah, I have no idea. What is another name for a cornucopia? That is a horn of plenty. What is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? That would be 1, or no, that would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. 2, 4, 6, 9, 0. Oh. Perfect. Who starred in the movies Caddyshack, Ghostbusters, and Lost in Translation? Is that Murray? And Ghost, or not, and, uh, and Groundhog Day, I believe. Who built a wall to separate Scotland and England? That would be Hadrian. What punishment did the Pope inflict on Henry VIII and Martin Luther? I think it was excommunication. What does a cobbler make and repair? Shoes. Zoology is the study of animals. What is oology? Is it the study of plants or oology? Fish? Hmm. Words. Okay, let's go back to that. What part of the animal is suet? Is that fat? What major fault lines run through California? That would be the San Andreas. What king was beheaded during the English Civil War? Was that Charles II? Or Charles I, my bad. Who wrote the musicals Jesus Christ Superstar and Avita? Was that Weber? What title does someone gain when they are knighted? That would be Sir or Dame. Which borough of New York starts with a Q? That would be Queens. And what movie did the main character bend over backward, dodging bullets as if they were moving in slow motion? That would be The Matrix. And U2 is a band. What is a U2? I think it's a submarine, isn't it? Or a boat? A plane? It's an airplane. Huh, I was confused on that. And I, I'm uncertain of the other two, so let's just give up. Dr. Evil wanted laser beams. And a study of eggs. I would have thought that would be like ovoology or something. All right, let's jump into the next general knowledge quiz. General knowledge 21. What country is famous for windmills and wooden shoes? That would be the Netherlands. What does Sally sell by the seashore? That would be seashells. What sword was given to King Arthur? Excalibur. What is the largest type of fruit or vegetable? Is it a gourd? Or am I misunderstanding this? Is it a jackfruit? Or a breadfruit? No. The largest type of fruit or vegetable? Pumpkin? Okay, I'm not really sure on that, but we'll go with it. What mountain range separates Spain and France? Would that be the Pyrenees? Pyra... Pyrenees. So I can't spell, but I was right. What country does Toblerone chocolate come from? That would be Switzerland, I believe. In Sharia law, what is the specific punishment for adultery? Stoning? What group of people had their capital at... I, I can never pronounce that word. I can't, but it was the Aztecs, I think. What is Siddhartha Gautama better known as? That would be Buddha? Buddha? Who lived at 221 Baker? That would be Mr. Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. Who was the first European to reach India by sea? Is that the Gama? What is the capital of Tibet? 
Oh, I know this. I'm going to have to come back to that. Complete the analogy. Canine is to dog as blank is to cattle. Is that bovine? Who sculpted the burgers of Calais? Okay, so that was in one of my favorite YouTube channels, Jet, uh, Jet Lag the Game. They visited that, and who did they say sculpted it? Hmm. I'm not sure. What does an Anglophile love? Is that England? According to the saying, where do all roads lead? That would be Rome. X's are hugs. Or are they kisses? Huh, that means the O's must be hugs. What city are you in? If you land at LAX, you would be in Los Angeles. What are Camembert and Limburger? They're cheeses. Which internal organ of the human body starts with the letter P? That would be a pancreas. And we're missing two here. The capital of Tibet. As soon as I see this come up, I'm going to be kicking myself. But I'm stuck on Tim Fu, but that's not Tibet. And then, who sculptured? Yep, I don't know that one either. Lahasa. And Augusti wrote in. It's probably not Augusti, it's probably just August wrote in. My pronunciation will get better eventually, guys. Alright, and before we jump into the final quiz here, if you guys are enjoying the video, please give it a like and maybe drop a subscription. Tomorrow will be Word Game Wednesday. So, who was married to Guinevere? Would that be Arthur? What movie featured the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man? Is that Ghostbusters? What is the common name of the mandible? That's the jaw. On what island would you find Kalea? Kalea? I have no idea. That's probably Hawaii Island. What musical features a song you've got to pick a pocket or two? Is it um, Hamilton? No. You've got to pick a pocket or two. Chicago. In what city was Muhammad born? Is that Mecca? What country was formed by the union of Aragon and Castile? That would be Spain. What civilization, based around the Yucatan Peninsula, was the only Native American group to independently develop a written language? That would be the Mayans. What country has three capital cities? South Africa. What shape are stop signs? They would be octagons. What word starting with T refers to the pattern worn by Scottish clans? That would be their tartans. Who wrote the Lord of the Rings? That would be Tolkien. What is dihydrogen monoxide better known as? Water? According to superstition, how long will you have bad luck if you break a mirror? Seven years. That's a really long time for breaking a mirror. What sport, similar to billiards, is played with one white ball? That would be snooker. What trendy diet suggests that people should only eat what their pre-agricultural ancestors ate? Is that the paleo diet? What vegetable is named after a European capital? That would be Brussels sprouts. What does the harp represent on the coat of arm of King Charles III? Ireland. What British lord is the namesake of hockey's most famous trophy and Vancouver's most famous park? Lord Stanley. What number system uses ones and zeros? That would be binary. Binary. And what's the last one here? What musical features a song? You've got to pick a pocket or two. Is Oliver Twist a musical? No, but Oliver is. I wonder if Oliver the musical is based on Oliver Twist. Yep, Oliver, based upon the 1838 novel Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. Let me know how you guys did on these quizzes in the comments below.